I've been opposed to Thursday night games for several years now for all the reasons you two just detailed. But even as a football fan, it's just a little too much for me. Monday night was special and became sacred. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It was the grand national stage, and I knew you guys lit up for it, ready for it. You wanted to, to give it your Monday best night shot. or Sunday night, Skip Bills. Yeah, I, I got it. I got it. But in this case, it's um, I'm not a big dessert guy. What's a dessert of choice? Apple pie, whatever. It's it's too much apple pie. Don't it's ask like, me that question. I know. What's your what's your fave? Well, oh, do we have enough? What time for isn't that? her fave? <laughs> I don't know. I'm on bread pudding right now. Okay, bread favorite. pudding. Okay, but how much bread pudding? If if I kept giving you bread pudding every I night after a while, you'd say, you know, I would what? need some That's cheesecake enough. after a while. I want to wait for. From Monday to Sunday, Sunday. because right. the yeah. buildup is just, that's what makes this the best sport on earth. Mm -hmm. Pro football, National Football League. Okay, so I'm with you on that. Here's my one issue. And you're right about Richard. What comes out of his mouth, you know, it's, he, He's he thinks about it. About it. Mm -hmm. He has thought about everything. My issue with Richard saying that, and this isn't the first time he said it, but why as a team leader would you make that statement at that moment because this football team is struggling i'm with everything you guys said you're right. dead right mm -hmm. he's right but this team has lost three straight games to the los angeles rams who used to be the st louis rams mm -hmm. three straight and four out of five and they lost earlier this year in los angeles right here in los angeles nine to three and they've lost two of their last three games in which they scored five points at tampa and ten points at green bay so they just can't score. So here comes a new Rams team with the special teams coach being the new coach. They've kind of cleared the decks. Maybe their attitude's a little better, a little different. They got talent on defense. I know Seattle's got talent on defense, but so do the Los Angeles yeah, Rams. Very. And th they will do a number on Russell Wilson's offense. It will be hard to score. Now, again, they're starting their rookie quarterback, Jared Goff. So I assume if, if Jared Goff could score three points against Seattle – I don't know if Russell Wilson can score six. I don't know. He might be able to. But my point is, as a team leader, are you not planting potential yeah. seeds of excuses in the backs of your mind? This is terrible. Richard said yesterday, which I'm sure is true, I might be 50 to 60% recovered by Thursday night. Mm -hmm. That's okay, but if you say that publicly, then your teammates are thinking, "Yeah, I feel terrible." You know, I'm just I'm not ready. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Rams had to play Sunday, and they're going to have to fly to Seattle, so they're not going to be ready either. But I don't hear any of the Rams talking about it because nobody cares what the Rams I, think right now, right? Yeah. As, as a leader, I never tried to give my teammates excuses. Man, it's hot out here. Man, it's cold out here. I never want them to have a building excuse why things didn't mm -hmm. go our way. So. You got to play the game. They got to play it. They got a mm -hmm. short rest. We got a short rest. We already know. But the thing that I have a problem with the NFL is that they their moniker is if it makes dollars, it makes sense with an S and with a C. And as, as CC mentioned, they collective bargained this. See, the NFL told the players, you know, we want to put a rookie cap on the uh, uh, on these rookies because they're coming in, they're not proven, and we're going to yes. give that to the veteran players. But what do they do? Once they get the veteran players, they cut them. Yes. So they didn't, they didn't hold up to that end of the deal. Mm -mm. The, it, the players kept bargaining for petty privileges. Well, we want to practice only once a day in training camp. Okay. We only want to hit 13 practices, but you can't have them consecutive. Okay. Didn't mention anything about these Thursday games. They did not. Didn't mention anything about health, lifetime health care. And the owners are like, man, you know what? We got them. All they want, all they, they don't want practice. They bargain yes. for pretty, that is petty privileges yep. when things that concrete Thursday night game, You're right. lifetime health benefits. The owners are sitting back and saying, what else y'all want? Because we now they take money from the rookies on the front end. They take it away from the, uh, uh, the vets on the back end. Guess who getting that money on the front and on the back? The owners. Saw y'all coming. Okay, but you remember what happened. It got to the 11th hour. Are you going to play or not? Yeah. Are you going to miss checks or not? In the 11th hour, I think 31 player reps voted to accept that deal All on the, the table. Yes. Only the Ryan Steelers. Clark, my friend Ryan Clark, yeah. he stood strong and said, no, this is wrong, and he was right. Right. I think Richard should have said it. Um, I think he should have waited till after the game. Okay. Right. That's, and that would work. And yeah. Because you really want to be yeah. – an echo of what the coach is saying. Good and point. I know Pete Carroll is not telling the team this on a short Heck week no. and hectic for the Rams. Right. The Rams are going to try to rally. Mm -hmm. So after the game, would have been, he could have said the same thing, been really effective because he got a few been, days off. Because it would have been correct.